so in our last video uh, i have shown you how to create your first proto file and i have shown you how to generate java stubs and in this video i'm going to show you how to implement your uh, first grpc service and i'm going to show you how to create your uh, first api all right now uh, let's go back to eclipse now so uh, here uh, i have an empty class uh, which i named as user service now uh, what i'm going to do is that i'm going to uh, you i'm going to extend my uh, java stub so I have to extend my uh, user service tab. So in case if you are uh, not sure about what to extend, uh, you can go to your service and you can uh, copy your service name and you can just uh, uh, use something like uh, IMPL base. So this is what you should be extending. Now in case if you are wondering where is this class located, it's uh, somewhere inside the stub generated by gRPC. So we don't have to worry about that now the thing which we have to focus on is uh, we have to implement our apis now uh, the second thing is that uh, we have to override our methods so i'm going to say go to source and override our implement methods so here you can see that uh, this uh, super class has two methods login and logout so i'm going to quickly uh, override that now uh, these are the two apis which we have defined in our upload of files so that's what we're going to extend now now we just remove the default uh, generated code we don't want that so whenever client call this login api uh, it's gonna land here so i can put an uh, statement here just to show you uh, so i can say inside login all right after that uh, what i what i'm going to do is that i'm going to extract all the input parameters uh, specified by the client now uh, here uh, so i'm going to use this uh, request and uh, i'm going to say string username equals i can use a uh, getters to extract the data and i can say get username and i'm going to do the same thing for password as well request dot uh, get password right so that's how you get the data from the um, request now next thing is that uh, you should have your business logic so in for login case uh, you can check something like whether username exists and uh, whether the password matches with the existing password in database so we can use all kind of uh, logics but uh, for simplicity purpose uh, i'm just going to use a simple logic uh, which say something like if username equals password now in case uh, if my username and password is successful I'm going to return success message else I'm going to return failure case now the tricky part comes when you are framing the response now it's not a straightforward uh, just like extracting the input it's uh, quite complicated now what you have to do is that you have to obviously construct and response object now in my case uh, as you can see my response is uh, api response so that's what we have defined in our apis remember it returns an api response so you have to construct an uh, builder for this one now uh, so if you're wondering what is an builder so builder is the way how you construct an object in a grpc uh, world so i'm gonna say api response dot builder and i'm gonna name it as a response and i'm gonna say api response dot new builder so that's how you uh, construct an object for the response now I can use this uh, response object uh, to set my uh, status message and status code so which is the response uh, parameters as you can see here it has a response message and response code so I can use this builder to construct my parameters now I can say response code as zero if it's successful and I can set a status message as a let's say success so all right now i'm going to do the same thing for a failure case so in case if uh, the username and password does not matches i'm going to say uh, status code as let's say 100 
and I'm gonna say uh, invalid password or username or whatever so all right that's how you construct your uh, response now once you construct your response message you have to uh, wrap it inside this uh, response observer and you have to send it back to the client now the way you do it is that uh, you have to use this response observer so which is uh, right here and you have to say something like on next so this is uh, this message is like uh, sending um, data back to the client and the data which I am sending is the response and since it's a builder object I'm going to say build to get back the actual uh, response so that's how you send the data now once you send the data you have to close the call now the way you close the call is like you have to specify on completed so when you specify something like this uh, the call uh, the grpc connection between the client and server is uh, for this respective api is uh, closed so that's how you uh, implement an api now unfortunately we cannot test this api now because uh, we don't have our grpc server running so in my next video i'm going to show you how to start your grpc server at specific port and i'm going to show you how to attach this uh, user service uh, into the respective grpc server so thanks for viewing guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned.